morning and welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. We're here at Peakland United Methodist Church and I am in the pastor's office. That's right, me, Andrew the Deacon, I have taken over. Don't worry, it's just for today. I'm here to talk to you about our book, God in the Wilderness. You see, just this week we've been talking about chapters 1, 2, and 3. Now, in my sermon on Sunday, I talked a lot about both chapter 1 and Moses coming to the burning bush, and chapter 2, where Noxon is walking up to the Red Sea and taking those first steps. Today, I want to talk to you just a little bit about chapter 3. You see, in chapter 3, we hear about the importance of rediscovering awe. Rabbi Korngold says that it is when we discover awe in the small moments in our lives that we are able to begin to find God in new places. Rabbi Korngold tells the story of Moses at Mount Sinai, and she tells a midrash where the Mount Sinai is not the biggest mountain in the area. In fact, the story she tells is that it's one of the small ones. But because Moses had attuned himself to be able to experience God and to see the beauty in the world around him, the mountain didn't need to be the biggest to strike awe in his heart. I think about this in my own life and the ways that when I get to a mountain and I start to get up towards the peak, the air changes and that feeling is liberating. There's a part of myself that I feel like is present again in a way that isn't always down here on the flat earth. And I think that that's the point, right? Those moments when I get a breath of that air, it's a part of me that comes back. And I think sometimes that feeling is reconnecting with God and God in me. So today, I'd like to encourage you to look for those moments, those small things in your life that are beautiful, and to just appreciate them, to reach out, and to say, God, I am here. Amen. Hey, this is Linwood. Before we leave Wisdom Wednesday today, as I was recording him, I noticed the book he was holding in all those tabs. Did you see that? I asked Andrew if he would elaborate on that, and what followed was an interesting insight to who Andrew is. And for today, I'm just limited to just Andrew talking about the book. Here's Andrew. So there are four different color sticky notes in this book, although you can't quite tell the difference between two of the colors anymore. And when I first read this book, each color was a different kind of note. Um... Orange was specifically connecting with creation and how is God present there. Green was how do we engage with nature. Blue was questioning things about wilderness. What does wilderness mean to us today? And yellow, yellow meant, Andrew, you need to come back to this page immediately. I also had this method when I started where I'd put little stars on some of the sticky notes to say, hey, this is an important note, but as you see as I go through the book, more and more of these sticky notes have stars because everything was catching my attention, and so we started to see sticky notes with multiple stars. I I love this book. I If I had to say one book that probably shaped and helped me understand my own spirituality, it would be this book, without question. <laughs>